Indifference curves ignore a person's limitation and describe only the person's desires. A budget constraint ignores a person's desires and only describes the person's limitations. A budget constraint traces out all the various combinations of products a consumer is capable of purchasing given his available money. Suppose you have $18 to spend. The price of beer is $1.50 per bottle and the price of pizza is $1.50 per slice. With $18, you are capable of purchasing any number of combinations of pizza and beer. The table here shows five possible combinations of beer and pizza you could purchase. We can plot these bundles on a graph. The line is the budget constraint you face when you have $18 to spend and when beer and pizza each cost $1.50 per unit. All combinations of beer and pizza above and to the right of the line cost more money than you have. All combinations of beer and pizza below the line cost less money than you have. All combinations of beer and pizza along the line cost exactly the amount of money you have to spend. Notice the vertical and horizontal intercepts on the graph. The vertical intercept, the point where the budget constraint meets the beer axis, is the amount of beer you could purchase if you spent all of your money on beer. In this case, you could buy 12 beers if you spent all of your $18 on beer. The horizontal intercept, the point where the budget constraint meets the pizza axis, is the amount of pizza you could purchase if you spent all of your money on pizza. What happens to the budget constraint if the person's available money increases? Suppose the person's money rises from $18 to $27. With $27, the person can now purchase more beer and more pizza than before. The person's budget constraint shifts to the right. According to the new budget constraint, the person can purchase combinations of beer and pizza that were previously unattainable. For example, when the person had $18, he could buy six beers and six slices of pizza. Now that the person has $27, he can buy six beers and 12 slices of pizza. The budget constraint is determined both by the amount of money you're able to spend and by the prices of the products you can buy. If the price of one of the products rises, you can't afford as much of that product as you did before, and so the budget constraint will move. How will your budget constraint move? Suppose you have $18 to spend, the price of pizza is $1.50 per unit, but the price of beer rises from $1.50 per unit to $3 per unit. If you spend all of your money on pizza, you can buy 12 slices of pizza. The increase in the price of beer has not altered the amount of pizza you can buy. But if you spend all of your money on beer, you can buy six beers. The increase in the price of beer has decreased the maximum number of beers you can buy. Recall that the vertical intercept is the amount of beer that you can buy if you spend all of your money on beer, and the horizontal intercept is the amount of pizza you can buy if you spend all of your money on pizza. The increase in the price of beer causes the budget constraint to rotate to the left. Similarly, suppose that you have $18 to spend, the price of beer remains $1.50 per unit, but the price of pizza falls from $1.50 per unit to $1 per unit. If you spend all of your money on beer, you can buy 12 beers. The decrease in the price of pizza has not altered the number of beers you can buy. But if you spend all of your money on pizza, you can buy 18 slices of pizza. The decrease in the price of pizza has increased the maximum amount of pizza you can buy. The decrease in the price of pizza causes the budget constraint to rotate to the right. We now have two tools. The indifference map represents your preferences, how you feel about different bundles of goods, ignoring the cost. The indifference map shows your desires, but the budget constraint shows your abilities, what you're able to purchase, ignoring your preferences. The budget constraint shows your limitations. When we combine a person's desires and limitations, we find what the person will actually do.